So let me do an example for you for this worksheet that's called It's All Uphill. And if we go to the actual simulation, we can pick whatever mass we want to use. I'll go ahead and pick um, 3 kilograms. And we can pick whatever angle we want. And we will run trial. And it will pull the cart up the ramp to a total height of 1 meter. That would be a vertical height. I know 1 meter from right here. And if we look at our handout here, it's saying what is the mass. So we can go ahead and say the mass is 3.0 kilograms. How much force does that take to lift it at an angle of 30 degrees? If we go back and take a look here, we can see that the force was 14.7 um, newtons. And what was the displacement of it? So we have to look at the scale. The scale is from 0, 20, 40. So 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. That would be 90. It looks like it's about 196. <coughs> So we can come over here, 196, uh, but what are the units for that? Let's go take a look here. It is centimeters, so if that's centimeters, then we would need to convert it to meters. We can move this over twice to the left using King Henry rule, and we get 1.96 meters. In order to know how much work it took to do that, which also means how much energy it took to do that, we can use the equation that force times displacement equals work done. This is from your homework from a few nights ago. So on a calculator, 14.7 times 1.96 and we get 28.812. I'm going to keep it simple. We'll round to the nearest tenth of a joule. 28.8. Alright, so now we can go back to the simulator. We can change the angle to 40 degrees. And do you think it's going to take more or less or the same amount of force to pull it up? Go ahead and try it on your own and complete your data table on the front. And on the back it's going to ask you to graph your data so that you can try to draw some conclusions about the relationship between angle, force, and angle, and work. Alright, thanks for tuning in.